there's a new film out right now. Um, it's a documentary on the beginnings of wax tracks. Okay. In Chicago in the 80s, mm -hmm. which was, um, it was basically Danny Flesher, Jim Nash, and myself started this thing that started, we started signing bands anywhere from Leibach to Front 242 to Young Gods to Ministry. We started doing this label and we didn't know what the fuck we were doing. Yeah. And apparently, this is out in theaters or something. I don't know, colleges, whatever. Really? And um, I haven't seen it. I uh, watch you, it. You got to. I, I, I am going to watch it because I'm actually on a panel in Denver on November 9th to talk about it. So I have to watch it before then. But I just talked to Paul Barker, my old bass player. And he said he watched it and he cried like a baby. Oh, good. So he was just like, this is really good. Like moves. This is, yeah, yeah. Yeah. This is really good. This is something you should watch. This is something you should support because we did this. We all did this at that time. I mean, uh, Wax Trash didn't get the uh, financial glory of like say grunge music in mm -hmm. Seattle mm -hmm. and shit like that, that, that uh, movement. But that Chicago movement in that uh, early to mid eighties was pretty intense. Yeah. And, um, you guys got a lot of my money. <laughs> oh, yeah. really? Yeah, yeah, cool. yeah. Did you yeah. buy a t-shirt? I bought the box God set. Damn, the box yeah. box. I the Hell yeah. yeah. Well, fuck. I guess my new barbecue pit is all thanks to you. You're welcome, <laughs> sir. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Are you guys doing these meet and greet before the show things? Uh, we, we tried that, and this gets a bit wonky. I don't like it. Yeah, it, <laughs> it gets a bit wonky. I don't like it, you know, because a lot of bands are charging people to come and meet them and say hi and take a picture before the show, and that's cool, and they make a little extra income. For me, it's just like, hi, come on in and lose all mystique and mystery about this band and look at us right here in this fluorescent lighting. Like, fuck that. <laughs> Dude. I don't uh, need $100 listen, for that. You know what I mean? We actually did like a, a meet and greet thing in Europe one time and had this fucking dude come up and literally, uh, because he got close to me, noticed that I had like two nose hairs like it's too close <laughs> like and 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 just would not leave until he picked the nose hairs off my nose and i was just like you know what i called the manager and i was just like enough this is we're not doing this, this is this is getting a little bit too much like uh, a jane goodall like series where like they're <laughs> picking <laughs> hairs off my nose singers, <laughs> singers like us yeah, yeah. And here we see Al Jorgensen in his natural habitat. <laughs> yeah, exactly, man. 